So this is the season of stewardship. In the church, when the leaves start to change and we start to reap the harvest of our gardens and our apple and pear trees, as the case may be, we also think about how much we are blessed and how we can share those blessings uh, with all of our neighbors in need. And so over the next few weeks, you will see in the bulletin something marked Church Chat, uh, which is just our creative way of stewardship messaging over these weeks. And today it's my pleasure to introduce Beth Smith, our parish treasurer, who will be up to bat first. Thank you. I'm going to stand up front so I can see everybody. Um, it's my pleasure to be here, and as Bill says, I do serve as treasurer of the church, but I'm also serving on a new committee that was recently formed by the Vestry, and that is a committee called the Capital Campaign Committee. Um, over the past few years, it has come to the attention of the Vestry that there are a number of areas in the church that need to be either repaired or, in some cases, replaced. And as we started to tally that list of all those things, we added them all up and, okay, this is going to cost this much and this one's going to cost that much. And we came up with a grand total of about $200,000 worth of items that need to be repaired or replaced. Um, the items are we have separated into three distinct areas and actually maybe even four. The three areas, uh, these are stewardship areas, is one, stewardship of our worship space first. Um, and that is the, the space where we worship and where we meet and use. Uh, and there's a number of needs there, and that's what I'm going to talk most about today. But the second area is the stewardship of music. And we, particularly in this, um, at the 10 o'clock service, really appreciate and love the beautiful music that is shared with us um, during our worship service. And um, there is a need for some, uh, some changes and improvements in um, the music that we have. And so one of the things on the list is a new organ. And there will be somebody talking about that in another, another um, one of these chats. Uh, but the third area is stewardship of the earth. And that is our energy footprint on the earth. We want to do more to try to conserve the amount of energy that our church uses. So we will be talking about that as well. And actually, the fourth thing is we're looking to raise about $200,000 to pay for all of these things that I've just outlined. But we're actually going to do a little bit more than that. We are looking to actually tithe, that is, give 10% of whatever we raise to a mission fund so that we can perform additional outreach. That is another $20,000, where our total amount that we're raising for this capital campaign is $220,000. A lofty goal, however, it is over a three-year period. In your bulletins today, you should, everybody should have one of these little uh, beige brochures, and this outlines um, the capital campaign um, program. And you also have a pledge form. And we're going to be asking people to make a pledge to the capital campaign, and it is a pledge that is made over a period of three years. So you may you know, contribute you know, so much over each of the next three years to help fulfill um, the needs of this campaign. So let's talk at first about what are we going to do in our worship space. Well, uh, since I've been here the past I don't know, four or five years, I keep hearing you know, the, the floor is, is one of the problems. And there's a great need to replace the flooring, to place the carpet, and we can all see how worn it is. So when you replace the carpet, you don't just stop there. You, you, know, you start looking at the floor, and you see it's worn, it's scratched. And if you're going to go to the trouble of replacing the carpet, you have to lift the pews up, and you might as well replace the whole floor. So we are looking at replacing the entire floor in the sanctuary and in the vestibule um, with new, new flooring and new carpeting. Okay? And while we've got the pews up, they need to be repainted too. So that's going to happen as well. When we do this upgrade to the sanctuary, we will do it with as little impact to our worship service as possible. Um, that's going to be the job of Andy Milligan to work with the contractors to figure out how we, can, how we can do that. But we will certainly take that into account and try to have as little impact on the congregation as possible. Um, but that's the, one of the things. Another thing we want to do is in the choir loft, um, we have this beautiful space up here that is certainly utilized by our wonderful choir and the organ, but it has ability to do more. Um, we're going to take some of the pews out of the choir loft 
and replace it with chairs. So it makes it easier for Holly to place people where she wants them um, so we can hear their voices even better. Uh, so that's one of the things. We're going to get some new storage um, things, uh, cabinets for them to store all their music in. We're also looking at getting a chairlift to make it easier for our choir members um, to go up the stairs. It is a challenge for some people, and there might be others in the congregation who'd love to sing in the choir, but have a hard time getting up and down those stairs. So we're uh, anticipating putting a chairlift in there as well. Another area that needs refurbishing is this big room over here that some of you may have gone in and others may not have. It's called the Stevens Room. And it's a great big space. It is a, has great potential. If you spend any time in there, you can look and say, wow, this has, is a great space for meeting. But it's not air conditioned, number one. It's not comfortable. It doesn't have good airflow in it. So we're looking at um, refurbishing that space, making it more usable for meeting space, also for bride space, if we have a, a wedding here, we need a place for the bride and, and the party to, to go to before they walk down the aisle and, and to fix their hair and do those last things. So we're looking to fix it up for that. And also as a space for children, as Bill was talking about in the service, we want to be able to welcome young children. But even, I know, having had young children, sometimes when they start to fidget and, and get a little noisy, yeah, you, you feel maybe you want to just take them to a place a little quieter. Well, we have this great big space over there. Let's make that a little more welcoming for them and not stop there. Why don't we bring the service in there? We, can, we have the ability, because we're filming the service, that we can bring that service right in there through um, a, a television set or something mounted on the wall. So a parent who's in there can still participate in the service. So that's another area that we're looking to refurbish in within our worship space. And then additional items include uh, improving our parking lot lights because we have so many people coming and going here during the winter. When it gets dark early, we need to light that area better. Our doors, the back doors coming in and out of the um, the office, for the offices, as you know, if there's a wind catches those doors, it flies right open. We need to make those doors more ADA compliant, so it's easier to go in and out of those doors. So that's another thing. And then the front doors on the church, we want to make the whole front area more open, more welcoming, and perhaps even start to use those doors to make it, you know, have a welcoming uh, front to the community that this church is open and, uh, and we want you to come in. So those are some of the things. Oh, one other thing I forgot is when we're replacing the floor, we're also going to put some loops, some improvements in the audio so that people who wear hearing aids will be able to hear better. So there's uh, some wires that we can place under the uh, carpeting that'll make it easier for people to hear. Okay, so these are just some of the things that are going to be done we're, uh, on our list of improvements. Um, and as I said, we're looking to raise $220,000. We have already received advance pledges from uh, the Vestry and the Capital Campaign Committee and a few other uh, parishioners, and so far we've already raised almost $75,000. So we're a large step of the way. We're just now kicking it off and announcing it, so we've made a giant step toward achieving our goal already. And again, remember, this is a goal over three years. Okay. I will be in the, um, during uh, coffee hour afterwards if anybody has any specific questions they'd like to speak with me, or certainly the members of the Vestry and the Capital Campaign Committee are also. Is there anybody else from the Capital Campaign Committee who's here? I think, so. I think I might be the only one right now. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you very much, and, and as I said, I'll receive your questions later on. Thank you. Thank you, Beth.